Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everyone, Kirby and the Forgotten Land was just released this past Friday worldwide and already this game has made major video game history. As reported by Christopher Dring from GamesIndustry.biz, Kirby and the Forgotten Land has had the biggest launch out of any Kirby game in UK history and it's already the fifth biggest Kirby game in the UK of all time. Now, these numbers are only for the physical game copies. I'm pretty sure if you factor in the digital game copies, the numbers would be way higher. So, let's take a look at what Christopher Dring had to say about the situation. Kirby and the Forgotten Land is number one in the UK boxed retail charts this week. It comfortably beat Tiny Tina which is at number two. It is the biggest ever Kirby launch by a big margin and is already the fifth biggest Kirby game ever in the UK after just one week. Obviously, it's still a small series for Nintendo. The launch is a little below that of last year's Metroid Dread. Now I don't know about that last part because Kirby is a major deal. There are Kirby games on like every Nintendo console so I don't know about that part but I'm assuming that he's just talking about the sales numbers of the Kirby franchise. Now here's a look at the charts from the UK and yeah they are impressive. We have Kirby and the Forgotten Land at number 1, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands at number 2, Elden Ring at number 3, Gran Turismo 7 at number 4, Pokemon Legends Arceus at number 5, FIFA 22 at number 6, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe at number 7, WWE 2K22 at number 8, Horizon Forbidden West at number 9, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number 10. Four out of these top 10 games in the UK are Nintendo Switch exclusives. Good job Nintendo. Now, I purchased Kirby and the Forgotten Land this past Friday and I went into this game without playing the demo or anything like this and from my standpoint, this game is a blast. It's very fun, very impressive and it's a very cinematic Kirby game. The boss fights is where this game really shines man because they are top notch. Some of the best boss fights I've ever played in any Kirby game period. I highly recommend this game to anyone watching this video. It's number one in the UK for a reason. Now, for those of you who haven't purchased Kirby and the Forgotten Land but you plan to do so, please check out my affiliate links down in the description box below to BestBuy.com. There are links there for the physical and digital copy of Kirby and the Forgotten Land and if you make a purchase through any of those links, I will receive a small commission with no extra cost to you which goes to supporting this channel. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video and please like and share this video because those are the only ways that this video gets out to other people who do not know about this channel. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.